All right, finally made it in. Today is camera trap deplo deployment day. Decided to set the first camera trap on the trail that the beavers were using uh, when they were cutting the saplings out of the old horse pen. So uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up the camera trap right here. I just gotta find out exactly where I want it. I don't know if I want it at the top of the hill, down the hill, or as he's going under the fence. So I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna do first. We'll take a look around, explore a few options, and see what I like best. Be back with you in just a second, and we'll go over all the details. All right, I'll finish setting up the uh, beaver trail camera trap. So what I've done is I've placed the camera trap right beside this little tree that sits about maybe two and a half, three feet off of the, the trail. I've got a flash just above eye level, uh, pretty much straight on, and then I've got one uh, off to the right, actually it'd be to the left of the subject as he's walking back through the frame. So I've got two flashes. I thought about bringing in a third one, but I don't really have anywhere to put it just yet. And I'm just gonna really test this first night and see how the lighting looks. Uh, I'd love to be in here a little bit later to actually see what it looks like at night, but I just can't make that work today. So I'm gonna take a, my best guess and leave it just like this and then I'll come back tomorrow and uh, double check the lighting, see if he came um, and used the trail. Uh, it may take a couple days for my scent to leave the area for he were to use the trail again. And beavers are very skittish when it comes to camera traps from um, from what I've experienced. So if, uh, if he's kind of scared of the uh, sound of the camera, I may actually put the mirrorless camera in there just to see if I can do it. Um, so to kind of counteract uh, the skittish, skittishness, I, I've only got the camera set to take one photo anytime that it sees uh, movement. So as he's going through the fence, it'll take one photo. Hopefully he will not scare and when he comes back up under the fence, it'll take one photo. And so I'm hoping by the, the rustle that he's making, dragging the tree limbs back this way, he won't hear the camera click, but as he's going under the fence to get to the saplings, I have a feeling he may hear it. So that's the plan. So I think it should work. Um, like I said, they're a little skittish, so I'm hoping after about 24, 48 hours, um, they'll get used to the one camera click uh, instead of a, 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 <laughs> a rapid fire. And so uh, the, the theory is uh, it'll probably take a few days uh, to get this beaver used to the sound and then we should be fine. Uh, but if he does not like the camera shutter sound, I will put in this camera, which is my mirrorless camera, and I'll give that a try. I'm gonna set this one up for a week I checked the trail camera when I first came in uh, to see if there was any new movement. Definitely got the beaver going back and forth, but also got a gray fox slipping in and out of the uh, the round horse pen. So who knows, uh, anything could happen. Heck, the bear could come back and we could get some photos of the bear going underneath the fence. That would be interesting. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here as quick as I can. Um, it, everything went together fairly simple. Uh, I forgot to put batteries in everything at the house, so it took me a little bit extra longer here in the field. I always try to put batteries in at the house, but I completely forgot it. But thank you guys for watching. It won't be but just a second for you, but I'm going to come back in here tomorrow and uh, check it and see how everything went, and I'll bring you along with me, and we'll uh, adjust the lighting if we need to, um, and, and we'll go from there. So thanks for tagging along, and I'll see you tomorrow.
it's the next morning had a lot of rain last night it's kind of overcast now and uh, in here to check the camera trap but first I'm gonna check this uh, trail camera that I've got set up I always put a trail camera next to each um, camera trap that way if uh, an animal comes in close or if something malfunctions or something always watching the camera trap so all right let's see what we got I'm being very interested to see what happens all right so the beaver did come through but I think what's ha what happens is it doesn't look like it took very many pictures what I think happens is the beavers are so wet and slick that the sensor can't really read them so I don't know if I got anything but let's find out all right so it took just a couple photos uh, one as the beaver went through it just missed him as he came back through so I got his tail but the good thing is based on the trail camera footage it didn't spook them so that's what I'm after so now it's just a waiting game we'll patiently wait uh, to get the right beaver because if they use this path enough and th the theory is that we should capture something uh, over the next few days or weeks so uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these images up on my laptop that I brought in with me today look at the lighting see what I like see what I don't like and make any modifications to it good stuff all right so download the memory card now so I can get a little better view than on the back of the camera and again I'm just I do this uh, after the first night just to really get a good idea of what my lighting looks like uh, like I said uh, I didn't have the opportunity to stay late yesterday to actually sh um, test the lights in the uh, actual shooting conditions that I know the beaver will be coming in so now I'm just going to pull them up and uh, make sure my focus and everything looks good and all right so here's the first picture of a beaver going from right to left so the focus is pretty much spot on we got a little bit of a glare from our second flash that's kind of filling in on the frame that I need to adjust uh, and here the beaver had already pulled the the tree limb through and this is as they're coming through so it's um it's good that they didn't spook uh, but now I just need to modify my lighting a little bit so the main light looks pretty good um, I feel like I now need a third flash on the back side of the tree so what I'll do is uh, excuse me the back side of the fence so what I'll do is I'll go grab the other flash and have it over there to light this side so we'll get some little backlight and to light the background because it's just a really it just falls off to nothing back there so we want to make it a little bit better but overall I think it worked out pretty good like I said I don't think they spooked it only took just a couple of frames which is what I was after and how about this <laughs> I just noticed uh, we had uh, something else trigger the camera and it was a mouse on the fence how about that that's pretty neat I just noticed that I was going through and see that's another thing that you you kind of catch uh, as you pull them up on the computer screen so a mouse actually came through and and triggered the camera so pretty good stuff I'm gonna make my modifications to the trap now and uh, go ahead and get out of here and I'll come back uh, in a few days and see what we get
been one week that's a rather mild day here in the swamp coming back in to check the uh, camera trap next to the the round horse pen and since the last time we spoke uh, I modified the setup just a little bit I added a third flash and then uh, I moved the sensor to the back side of the fence and I also moved the camera a little bit closer to the fence so <clears throat> after coming in and checking the camera after 24 hours I realized that was the best scenario so and it's now been uh, five days six days since so we're coming in here this morning crossing our fingers and see what we got it doesn't look like there was much activity at least in the last 24 hours we had a, a light rain shower move through last night and there's no fresh tracks here on the trail and uh, there's not a lot of fresh sign around at all so I don't know if they've been back you can definitely tell that it's mild here in the swamp hearing a lot of uh, frogs uh, that you normally hear during the spring all right so let's dive in and see what came through over the last week So based on trail camera footage, we had a lot of activity come through um, this trail during the past week. Uh, but it doesn't like anything's come through, like I said earlier, in the last 24 to 48 hours. Um, it's actually been about two days since something last visited this trail. And there's not much sign around the entire area, so. All right, we've waited long enough. Now let's dive into the back of the camera, see what we got. Uh, it's been set up. Like I said, since the last time I came in here, uh, it was about six days ago. So let's see what we got. Looks like we got a rabbit visiting. Got a mouse on the fence again. <laughs> and we did get a few beavers crossing, uh, but it only fired as they were going from right to left, not back through, which is what I was wanting. Got a few tree limbs in there, more beavers going from right to left. Oh man, had one beaver come up, drag a limb and stop just off <laughs> to the right of the camera. So I've kind of cut him in half, so not usable, but hey, at least they're using it still. Actually got a young beaver too. Um, so via the trail camera, I realized there's a, a mom with a, a kit, a young beaver, and 
it looks like the young one has stopped right in front of the camera and posed for a photo. So that looks pretty good. I like that. All right. So overall, not too bad. Like I said, we hadn't gotten many uh, visits to the camera trap on this trail within the last 24 to 48 hours. <clears throat> now I'm assuming the beavers most likely have moved to a different different area. Uh, and they, they typically do that at this location. You know, they'll hang around for, you know, a couple days, a few weeks, and then they'll leave and then they come back. Uh, I've seen that happen before. Uh, so I'm just assuming that's probably what's happened again. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave the camera trap set up right here for another week and see if anything passes through. And remember that gray fox that we got? I'm hoping just maybe he'll return and, and come up under the fence. That'll be a unique shot that I'd love to get for sure. So that has been the first full week of the camera trap set up on the beaver trail going into the old horse pen. I'm glad to see that they are still using it. They're not phased by the camera trap. It doesn't look like at all. So we're going to leave it right here for another week. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Check back next week for another update. And we'll be setting up a new camera trap on the beaver dam. Again, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time.